Let's get to Dub Vision's great song No More, released from Rave Culture label. Hey friends, this is Ron Capture and I share everything I know to help you master music production. Today I'm going to show you three tips about this great song and then you can use them in your own songs. Now let's get to the first section of this tutorial. This sound is a simple saw wave but with a lot of processing and a lot of mixing tricks to make it as big and huge as possible. First let's take a listen to the solo of this lead sound. There are heavy processing on this lead to make this so huge. Let's see what's going on in the oscillators. Just a simple saw wave with this envelope right here. And in the FX sections, processing starts. First, heavy distortion to the max amount, OTT right here. And for the stereo bits and the effects, I added phaser a little bit. I added chorus a little bit. And here, this filter is modulated by envelope one a little bit with resonance and drive right here. Next in the audio effects, I started with the OTT with the time knob right here with 7 dBs of output, another OTT, another OTT, 3 OTTs in a row because I wanted to make it as huge as possible. And let's turn this off. You see the tail and reverbs comes up when the OTT is on. Next. There is this plugin, Cashmere Essentials, that I've been using recently and at first I was a little bit skeptical, but this plugin works magic. This is amazing and it is very fast. It gives you a lot of amazing results. And right here I have added presence. These are the EQs. I have added air, excitement. It is a saturation. Details is like the air one. It adds details to the high end of your sound. This works pressure, works like a parallel compression and brings up the gaps in your sound. This is very amazing. Expand, as it says, it is about stereo image and glue is a simple glue compressor. And here is a clipper that is turned on. And I have chosen the synth section of this plugin. And next one is a plugin. This is a Wanda plugin, Bigifier by Jonas Aiden. He's one of my favorite producers. And Bigifier is another plugin that I have added to my tools recently. And with one knob, it can make your sound huge and as big as possible, if you need that, of course. Now let's turn this both off. You see the aggressiveness of sound is brought up a lot after these two plugins. And next, the rest of the processing is on the group section for this lead. Simple low cut right here, decapitator for the distortion, and then I have added white noise right here. A little bit and then I have mono the sound because I wanted to add the stereo bits with the reverb. Next right here I have added highs to the sound with Satcher. Next a little bit of EQing. Again distortion for the sound because it wasn't as big as I wanted. And here Echo Boy a little bit of delay. Eighth notes. It is helping the sound, of course, to make it huge with a little bit of delay. Mix a little bit and feedback is very, 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 very short. And this helps you make this type of future rave and big room sounds. The delay is very important. And next I have added some highs again right here with the fresh air. And here comes the reverb. This is the processing of the reverb and this is the dry chain. Let's get to this reverb right now. I turn it off. This is making a lot of the character of this sound. The reverb on. Okay, first setting the reverb, I have used the Valhalla Room with the 100% mix with this preset big vocal hall because I wanted a big reverb with 5 seconds of DJ. This is a huge reverb and after that I have compressed the reverb because I wanted to put it in the background of the lead. And I have put the attack and release right here with the ratio of 4. Let's solo this reverb. A little bit of the peaks of this sound are getting into this compressor and after that I have EQ'd the reverb and I have added some sides 
to this sound. I'm just making the lid in the background and I'm making it wider. And here, the famous docking effect of reverb to the lead sound is happening. Let's turn the dry chain on. Whenever we hear these notes, the reverb docks, so the sound is not cluttered. Around minus 7 dB in most parts. And after that, I have added saturation just to the reverb because I wanted to bring it out in the mix a little bit more. A very huge difference. And of course, it is in the medium curve right here. It is a little bit harder on the sounds than the analog clip, which is the default preset. And that's it here. Again, the dry chain and wet chain are processing together. I have, I'm clipping them right here with the saturation. And then I have used the SOOF 2 to getting the resonances around this area, around 4K and top. Next is EQ to match the sound to the original one somehow. Then I have added some highs with this analog EQ. This is going to be a long chain. And after that, I just clip the sound at the end of the chain. Of course, this clipping at the end is making it the fattest sound that we could achieve. This bass sound is only playing one note during the drop, but two creative automations are making it unique and awesome. Let's take a listen to the solo of this bass. This bass is playing around 250, 230, and the creative automations are very interesting. Here, the pitch bend amount is 13 semitones. I don't know why I did this instead of 12. And right now, just they are pushing this note a few semitones above. And this pattern is repeated with the kick. And it is very interesting and simple at the same time. And in the audio effects, I have added Bigifier, some saturation thumps from Saturn, a little bit of compression, EQs to make the sound pop out. And very interestingly, Dubvision has widened the sound after 80 Hz. This is a little bit unusual, but it gives the sound a huge picture, a huge feeling. Without it, it wasn't as powerful as it, as it is right now. And after that, after adding widths with the ozone, I have decreased the width with utility right here to take control of the stereo image of this beautiful bass. And one another interesting thing is that this bass has a high octave layer to it. And the solo of this layer is... And this helps the bass to be heard on smaller speakers without the sub. This is a very, very smart and interesting choice. Now let's take a quick look at all the layers that have made this song. Guys, the simplicity in this song is key. Like a lot of the other songs, the first layer is the kick. Then there is bass. The high octave bass. This big sense. And this low synth is playing along with the main synth. And this little hi-hat, which is adding to the groove of this song. And it is playing along with the synth. Beautiful. And there is just a white noise. And a crowd noise and nothing else. Just the processing and mixing has made this song as it should be. Thanks for watching friends. If you have any questions about the tips that we talked about today, just ask me in the comments and I love you so much. Bye.